YouTube. Darren here. Let me kind of update as to what I was going on. And there you see kudzu in its natural state hanging with no rear end in it. And this is the rear end in question. Uh, this is JR. Uh, JR came over today and we worked on his mower. I'll show you that briefly. Uh, this is what uh, I've been having a problem with and I'll show you the problem piece. Y'all are all familiar with it if you've been keeping up with everything. This is the piece that we had welded. Now you'll notice an obvious uh, little kink there. It's bent and this is the piece that I had taken and had it welded this time and it's broken right there. That's what was binding. So, we were looking at this piece and JR actually came up with this idea. This part here is a factory piece from a MST that is exactly the right dimensions except it's not tall enough. So, what we did, we're going to take this guy, we're going to weld it to it actually. We're going to cut out a section like Patrick and I did. We're going to stair step this guy, put it in there, and then we're going to weld it. Because it's going to be completely inside, we're going to weld a lot of fill around it, and then we're going to sleeve this guy, and that will take care of it. Now I want to show you this. This piece that we're talking right about, and we're going to add another part to it so it will set like this. Of course, it'll be centered. So this should take care of my problem, and I have plenty of room so we can add something around it. I can actually get a nut welded around it and reinforce it. So this should take care of the problem. This, if I have to buy it, uh, the correct piece is going to be sixty bucks. Mama ain't hat. Fourth count. Hey guys, now we're back. This is the uh, the mower. Uh, that JR brought over that he had. Uh, this is for cutting grass only. It's an MTD, 12 and a half flat head, and didn't have a deck on it. It'd been sitting out for a while, so what we did, we uh, took the carburetor off, cleaned the carburetor. Uh, that one wouldn't work, so we put another carburetor on it, uh, cleaned the starter up. It was sticking a little bit, and got it to where it would crank and run. Cranks and runs good. The motor was loose. We bolted it down. And then we were able to get it to move. Now, the uh, pulleys had rusted to the belts. So we had to move it back and forth a couple of times to get it to where it would roll forward and backward and everything would engage. But we still didn't have a deck on it. This is what we've been doing all morning. And I think we started around 8 this morning. We got this, uh, put this deck on there and scrounged up a belt and it works. We had to adjust it a little bit. The belt's a little bit too tight because it will still slowly spin around and around when it's in the off position. Not enough to cut a foot or anything like that, but it'll still do that. So he's going to get a little bit longer belt, cutting deck belt, and that will take care of it and he's going to pressure wash it. And we got it fixed. Yeah, We're back. More time, guys. And you can see this is the part I've gotten done. This is the other part. And we're going to bevel it. We're going to tack it in place and then we're going to weld the heck out of it. Check it for a correct height. And then we are going to uh, brace it, reinforce it across the bottom here. And then we'll grind it down to the correct size. So, hopefully I'll have this thing back together. This evening. Getting ready to weld it. We're going to use the uh, flux wire welder. Got the generator set up. We're in all the safety crap. It's welded and it's in. Going to have to widen this out to 9 sixteenths and uh, we'll be done with it. There's JR. There's JR. Hey JR. There's Jason. Hey Jason. And uh, we're going in because we're going to Daystrix now. Y'all going to make some mayhem. <laughs> 